guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> and for today's vlog never mind about my look because i'm at work so you're going to have a look at uh, a little bit with my uh, work so as the main caregiver so i have all the responsibilities for my client to do all the things um, aside from having a PSW on the weekdays and weekends and um, my reliever caregivers on the weekends so I am uh, let's it's most especially for the weekend uh, caregivers I'm not always here to assist them and tell them what to do or which to use and where to find those things so and we were having problems of that because like you know sometimes we don't i have a very good friend uh of my she became my friend actually she's a psw she's also a nurse but she's not practicing uh her nurse profession for now she's still uh as a psw and she's helping me with um nona on uh mondays to fridays so we are like a team when we work together so everything's good now um we get problems for our psw in the weekends because uh, it's just that um i don't know what to call them they think uh it's not their job they think uh the caregiver are here so the caregiver should do the work like it's unfair right so i'm just trying to uh, let you see guys uh the things that i did for them in order for them because we just had a meeting with the agency supervisor for the PSW uh, my uh, regular PSW was here as well so she could help us to you know, explain it to the supervisor and then Nona's daughter and me and then we tackle things about the job so I'm gonna show you something I did just to I hope it could resolve the problem as a caregiver and um, you know for those who comes here all as well on the weekend so I'll let you take a look at this guys so these are a uh, sample of scope of practice for the personal support workers or PSW uh, that they supposed to do when they come here for my client so you know they need to help me uh, they they not just assist but they have to do these things but like it doesn't mean they have to do all of it but at least they could do something you know rather than after 10 minutes in here they will just gonna go so i'm really pissed off about it and uh here is why i'm trying to explain these things and they supposed to be as well as a caregiver relief but as i've said they want to do their own job <laughs> I did like the scheduling. It's her daily schedule, which she do shower on a Monday, Thursday, or either Wednesday or Thursday, and then Saturday. But um, that depends actually if she is able to do so. If she's not sick, of course. And then I also did put their <laughs> uh, routine pass in the day because it's, it's in there. Like it should be. They are. They have one hour in the morning and one hour in the afternoon. And they can they can stay at least or at least like 45 to 50 minutes. But some others, if they don't uh, shower her or they don't do anything, they just go and like like let's say they stay 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then bye. So <laughs> we try, and then they said they were busy, which is supposed to uh, to be. They have to stay for uh, an hour or at least 45 minutes. You know. They are paid for that hour, so yeah. Sorry, guys. The washing machine is in here, and the dry and washing machine and the dryer, so you could hear the background. So aside from that, I did this too, so so they could find it. Like they don't have to text me and you know find whatever. So it's easier for them and easier for me as well. And because somebody doesn't follow instruction, I have to put this. Yeah, it's for this too. And then, yeah, because sometimes, you know, this, you can't uh, really, you know, she has on her diaper, so we do this too as well. And even this one. So, 
Yeah, look at that. I feel them. You know, so it's all it's all like arranged for them. So it's easier for them for everybody. Here. Yeah, I did this as well. Because sometimes they don't know where to find it. They have to call the caregivers, you know, or call me. So what I did is start whenever they want to look. So yep, the pads, daytime and nighttime, everything. And this one I uh this one I really have to put this thing because she has towels here but with, with colors for the face for the body for the perennial area for body drying something like that uh yep and then i had to right, let me see if you can see like that okay so i needed them to pay particular attention with the towels colors they're using to the face and especially to the bottom because that could cause infection to her eyes again yeah so and then I did this as well because sometimes they just throw inside just throw inside wet clothes or towels and then after it smells and I'm the one who's gonna do the laundry and everything so uh, you know I just need them to be um, organized and all so it's easier for everybody here I put in here um, most of the time this is for the caregivers because sometimes you know they might I like I get to new caregivers so since they are new I have to do this for them on the weekend so it's easier for them as well yep <laughs> that's what I've been doing here in my job like um, some there are days that are we have lots of downtime easy easy peasy but there are also times as a caregiver that you're gonna get stressed like like how i am <laughs> today look at me yeah i don't look good at all i was uh i think i was stressed for a uh, few days and then my immune system goes weaker and i got this <laughs> i got cold, cold sore oh my god so yep but i'm still like you know you don't um you don't have a choice because you're taking care of a, a person you're taking care of an elderly so you have to you have to do your job and in order for the job to do it right you have to organize things and um you know for life to be easier so um we always have as, as i said like we always had problems with our psw in the week, weekend but i hope this time around it's gonna resolve because it's not healthy for everybody i mean it gives stress for the caregiver it gives stress as well to the client so uh i hope everything's gonna be okay soon so uh i'm gonna give you updates guys for uh, my permanent residency i'm sure a lot of you uh is waiting about that i'm gonna give you updates in january that's for sure okay so thank you so much for watching my blog today guys and hope all you um learned something from this especially to those uh caregivers who are um having problems with their psw as well and uh for those uh who wants to apply as a caregiver as well here in canada you can browse all my videos that i did before just keep watching them i know there are updates as well like it's not um i'm not sure about the latest right now but whenever i have time when i'm not busy i could do again a new video about that so for now thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you like and subscribe to this video and click the bell notification button to notify for more video updates thank you so much for watching guys Mwah. bye